after building uh, the menu, uh, I want to show you how to build this section, the gallery. So let's dive into that. Let's start by adding a new section. So I'm going to go into my previous section and just press the plus button and choose blank. Uh, by default, I'm going to get a 500 uh, pixels right uh, section here. Now I'm going to add a gallery. So I'm going to the plus icon uh, under media. I'm going to choose pro galleries and I'm going to drop the grid gallery into the page. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to stretch it to the whole section. And now I want to set the proportions and the layout. So I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go into layout and you can choose any of these layouts. Um, I'm going to stay with grid and customize the layout. I'm going to leave the images as cropped and I'm going to choose nine by 16 here. Now the thumbnail is, is huge. Uh, so you can either set uh, the items per row, uh, but your maximum is going to be five. And since we want to have uh, eight images here, I'm going to do fit to screen and I'm going to choose 12. So we have um, eight rows and columns. And I'm going to go into the design and change the effects. So what I want to do, um, the overlay color I want to take out, the color by default. And I'm going to go into the item style and choose the zoom in effect. And under settings, I'm going to take the heart icon down, the social. Okay, so let's see uh, my gallery in action. And these are the by default images that uh, Wix gets you um, inside. And you can use videos, you can use text, and you can use images. So that's the first step. Um, second step will be adding our images. So I'm going to go into Manage Media. And I'm going to do Select All, first, first of all, and Delete. And now I'm going to add my um, site file. So as you can see, you can add an image, or video, or a text. I'm going to choose Images. And I'm going to choose my own images. So you can actually go to site files and select a bunch of um, files. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to this section. Um, and with a shift, I'm just going to check if a bunch of images of Emily's work and her art. And some of them are, can be videos. So after adding all of these images to um, the media, I can start and rearrange images if I want to do a um, different order, if I want to take some images here for the top. Of course, you can save everything with folders and whatever you'd like. And after selecting the images, you'll see that the images will populate on the site and they will have, they will have the effect that you added. So that was one way uh, to add your images to the gallery in a manual way. And I want to show you a more uh, automated way uh, with connecting to a database. So if you click on this icon, um, you can choose or create the database collection that you have. Um, I'm going to choose gallery here and I'm going to press create. Um, this create will make the icon of the data set, but this is an icon that you won't see. Um, in any of the breakpoint, or you want to see it on uh, preview or publish, just to show you if I click preview, um, I still see the images and not the icon. Uh, but it means that this database is now connected to the page. So I'm going to go into manage content and just see um, the element here. You can add your title, you can add the images, uh, you can add your, um, you know, the number if you want to create an order, and you can work on um, your database here. And what I wanted to show you today is just a way to connect it. So if I'm going back to connect the gallery, the gallery data set that's here has already been selected. So now I need to choose um, the image source, the, the type of field um, that you know will pull the information. And of course, I can choose the titles to come from the text and the descriptions to come from you know longer text. Um, and the link could be connected to a URL. And you can already see that the images from the database um, are connected here. So that's another way um, to do that. And all we have to do is just to check the, the different breakpoints. And again, um, if you go to different breakpoints, the gallery has a fantastic feature that it's already uh, breaking the, you know, the rows and the columns into three here. And mobile can already be um, two, but I can also go back to the settings of my gallery and go to uh, customize layout and choose, for example, uh, one item per row 
for my um, mobile and because we're cascading down it not cascading up it will change only in mobile and the rest of the site will stay the same so how cool is that feature